Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another TOS video. Alright, so my internet is up, so here I am gonna upload all the weekly battles today. So we have a one-time off battle, which gives us the Mosasaur PR material. Alright, and this stage isn't a walk in the park, I would say. And here I am, I'm gonna feature the all-new Duo Lucifer play playstyle. Alright, so I know this stage is quite um, difficult if you bring in a god team. Right, because there's a really a god damage reduction right at round 2. Right, so you can see here, uh, pretty much the entire team is god except for that one sniper there which is the demon demon race. And yeah, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to store up as many, as much CD as possible. Right, uh, actually I wanted to turn on um, Lucifer before round 2. But you can see that uh, playing Greek sometimes things are unpredictable you can see that one full attack there and then we're gonna move on to the next stage all right so here um, is gonna be the more challenging stage in which I kind of challenge myself to clear this with this uh, Apollo duo Lucifer team all right so you can see these two um, defense dragon here uh, one of the one on the left which is this ice icy gone reduce human attack to 20% all right and then the one on the right is the one that we are gonna have the most problem with alright god attack reduced to 20% so um, the only card that is doing the main damage here will be our uh, dear sniper there which is not even full uh, max level yet alright so here pretty much uh, I'm just gonna go for the heal the attack, heal and attack, heal and attack until uh, my Apollo on the right uh, gets ready uh, in which we can dish out uh, more damage alright so here I'm just trying to pull myself through um, to kill off at least the light, the light uh, defense dragon to make things uh, easier. All right, so after this, it's gonna be an extremely easy battle. All right, you can see later. So here, basically, uh, if you run out of hard runes for one turn, that's it. All right, so here is kind of a bit of a luck base as well. But here, basically, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how this, um, how OP uh, two Lucifer in a deck can be. Alright, so here, um, Lucifer being a uh, PR, you can see that we have tons of HP. Alright, it's basically playing uh, Duo Odin, something like that, you know, whereby your HP can pretty much go more than 20k. Alright, it's 19k here now because um, of that sniper there. If you actually fit in some other all max card, you can actually um, go past 20k HP. Right, which is quite insane for a Greek team. Right, you can actually swap out one Lucifer to put in Zeus. Um, it works well that way. Uh, it works well that way too. Right, so you can see there. Uh, I I'm afraid there was. Uh, there's a bit of insufficient healing there, which is why I turn on my Dragonic Compulsion. Right, in actually it doesn't. I don't have to. Alright, there's actually sufficient healing, but anyway. Uh, with that compulsion, you can see that I dish out slightly more damage, and then of course the light, the light defense dragon goes down, and then my defense, I mean my attack is back to normal, right? So you can see that high attack, our damage is back, right? So with this, uh, we can go ahead to activate Lucifer here. So basically, Lucifer, just activate one, although both will have the same icon, but you only need one, right? So with this, you can do one spin. Here, we have um, Ursula with life hack. Uh, the one on the left with Phantom and then the one on the right with Mask Runes. Right, so you can see that it's just basically, after you're on Lucifer, it's just raping the entire stage. Right, so moving on. So here is kind of uh, a stage whereby my rune did not really fall properly, uh, resulting in not a one-hit kill. Alright, look at that. But nonetheless, look at the amount of them. Uh, look, look at the amount of HP left on the mob. All right. So simply, uh, explosive damage here uh, by Lucifer himself. All right. So with this, a uh, small little spin off he goes, and then with that, we'll have a debuff after you kill these two mob, which is um, reduced time and uh, no recovery. All right. So doesn't really matter. <laughs> Not any matters. All right. So next up, we have Piazza with um, burning rune. Alright, targeted burning runes. 
So you can see I I have quite a nice bot there. You can see that I've smoothly uh, do a spin and then all the runes just align up together. Alright, so we're here at the boss. I kind of wanted to turn on um, Luna at Piazza stage. I kind of forgotten. Right, so it doesn't matter. Right, so most of us are here with uh, invisibility shield. So this is why I brought in a sniper. Alright, if not, team setup will be way, way different. Okay, so just do, uh, do a Lucifer convert and then off this guy go. Alright, compulsion is not necessary, but here I'm just pretty much going to show you how uh, the damage is going to be. Alright, um, my typical setup wouldn't be dual Lucifer, but Lucifer and PR Zeus. Alright, and then instead of that sniper there, uh, I can put in um, Minamoto or I can put in uh, Keijuro, something like that. Alright, so the, the damage is way higher than this. Right, so let's take a look at uh, the damage here, damage output. Right, so my attack bonus went up to 166%, and then you can see that damage wise, um, 28 million per cut. Alright, so I've actually hit about 80 over million per cut before uh, using that, that uh, Lucifer Zeus setup. Right, so basically a very crazy team, especially now Michael Lucifer have his own convert. Uh, which makes room for more uh, utility cards. Alright, so with this um, one free Mosa saw, right? So as you guys know, um, power release Dragon Spiriter is coming, so I'm gonna stay tuned for more power release videos soon. Right, so as of now, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.